Hey y'all, it's Jessica Ray Plays, and thank you so much for coming back to the channel for your brand new episode of the Sims 4 100 Baby Man Challenge. So we are back with Roberto in the 100 Baby Man Challenge. As you guys know, we are literally at 99 kids, which is freaking insane to me. And I got my nice comfy, extra comfy sweater on today. So we are ready to get all finished with this series, at least baby-wise today. Next episode is going to be the finale where we're literally probably going to celebrate his life, have his funeral, all that stuff. So I will be filming that actually when we get done with here. <laughs> it's going to be sad. But I do have some news for you guys. I actually did play through the night, like I said in the last video that I was going to do. So I think I actually played through a day because we were building a rocket ship to go to Sixum. Sexum. One of those. I don't know. When I found out that I could not cheat and place down a already built and perfectly upgraded rocket ship onto the land and use that, I actually had to make him spend a whole day's worth just doing that. So that whole day was literally wasted on creating the rocket ship that we are going to use to go and visit Sixum. So while I was playing through that day and trying to take care of the kids and making sure he did the rocket ship, we had babies. <laughs> so officially we are done with the challenge. So our first one up is Esmeralda. And she's actually my 100 baby challenge matriarch that I do have on my other series. She says I had Isabel, Raylan, and Mercedes are doing very well. So they are actually in our house right now. And they were actually scheduled to age up today on today's like video. I actually aged them up the day before because I was done with the babies and we are already over it. We reached it. So I didn't have no problem going ahead and age them up. because I was really wanting to see what they look like, but it's already that day today. So I guess it doesn't really matter since I played through that day. And our next one that we had was Erica. She says, Hey, I wanted to let you know I had twins. Darian and Lilia are doing well. She was the mixologist. I think that we had woohoos with when we went to Mount Komorebi. And then finally we have Jenna here who says that she just had one beautiful boy named Tommy. Now I do think there was one more and it did not actually pop up on screen when she had her baby. So I'm going to go show you guys how many babies we officially have in our household. So we do have 107 babies. So we have officially won the challenge. Technically we have 108, but who's counting? So since Roberto did win the lovely baby challenge, I do actually have a beautiful costume for him to endure and I think it, it fits him so freaking perfect. Let me get it up for you guys so you can see him in his little outfit since we won. Ta-da! And he's farting. Just ignore that. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. We won. We won. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Boop. So yes, we did win. That is why he's in the chicken costume. Woohoo! I thought it was funny and I just had to put it in there. So heck to the yeah. So that is very toots and funs. So today on our lovely schedule, we do have some beautiful areas that we're actually going to go into. We're going to go visit Sixum and we are going to go into the hermit place as one of our last places that we are doing because last episode we visit Oasis Springs and we visit the Willow Creek. So today we are doing the other two secret lots. But since Roberto is about to officially die in like a couple of days, <laughs> so sad. I thought it'd be funny if he actually woohooed and we made sure that he finally did all of his woohoos in all the areas that he hasn't been to yet. So I actually did go ahead and I pulled up all of the woohoo spots that you can do in The Sims 4. So number 15 is Backyard Observatory. I do not think Roberto has done that in there. I don't know. All of you that have watched this series, you guys would definitely have to let me know too. Actually, I think Story Girl 83 is probably the one that would know more just because she has like literally just finished the series like not that long ago she actually started like from the first until now so she is the one that I should probably be asking if we did it he actually did do a sauna woohoo and I think that was with one of the munch 
women hot tub yes he has done tons of woohoos in the hot tub there was a maid i think there was even the baby mama mia maya whichever one i can't remember a bed definitely checked a tent now i do not think roberto has done it in the tent but he's going to shower tons of times waterfall i don't think he's done it in the waterfall has he done it in the waterfall I don't know. Again, that's one that you're going to have to ask me. If not, we will definitely fulfill that one too because it's literally just brought across from us. So that's no problem. We can actually do that one probably today. A closet check because he actually went to Discover University and he woohooed with those teachers. Bang, bang. Apollo leaves? What? I had no idea you could do that. Really? Wow. Those are flaming hot. That's a flaming hot woohoo session right there. But... I don't know if we'll be able to do that one, but we are going to try our freaking hardest. The next one is a sleeping pod. Okay, very, very interesting. I know we have not done that because he has not had a sleeping pod at all, but we can do it. A coffin, haven't done it, but we will. Woohoo bush, absolutely freaking lily. Easiest thing to do many times in the last episode. Go check that one out if you want to see woohoo bush. Woohoos. What? <laughs> <laughs> if you want to go check that out if you want to go see woohoo bush check that out if you want to go see some woohoos in a bush bush woohoo so definitely go check that out if you want to go see the bush in a woohoos yeah whatever whatever i said just the bush woohoos i guess i don't know i guess that's what i I don't know. I guess that's how you say it. Number three is the Bridgeting Bay Lighthouse. We have not done it in Burlington Bay. I don't even think we've been in Burlington Bay. And number two is a rocket ship, which we are going to do today before we go visit Sixum. And then the final one is a money vault. Yes, we need to do this as well. So wow, there's a bunch of little things that we need to get done in three days time. Money vault, I definitely feel like we could do that. We need to actually put all of his money in the money vault. Ooh, be really really cute to do so that's all what we're gonna be doing today so let's go ahead and get this started the first thing that we're actually going to do is we're actually just gonna go ahead and summon a sim over because I feel like Roberto has put like a flyer out in the world and said hey this is my final request I'm a five-star celebrity and I just want women to come over and fulfill my woohoo checklist so we're just going to start at the top and olivia cam lewis we have not had any woohoos with so we're going to invite her over she doesn't look like she's an elder yet like this one alicia lewis so we're going to go with olivia we're going to invite her over and we're going to visit the little woohoo rocket ship and have some rocket ship woohoos the toddlers so this is oh my gosh and i totally forgot so these are the beautiful little toddlers that we have in our house and when they get up from their naps i would definitely have to show you what they look like because they are so stinking cute but she is already here she's like hey i'm ready to fulfill your woohoo rocket ship fantasy so let's get this started oh my gosh i it, and it's spring so i don't know how unless i cheat it to fall Oh, I don't really want to cheat it to fall. That would be just not fun. But maybe we can do it just for like a quick session or something. Or maybe we can go to a different world that might be in um, fall. <laughs> I don't know. So that we can try to do that. Because I definitely want to try and have his stuff fulfilled. Oh my gosh, we even got a sentiment now. Oh my gosh, that is so hilarious. So let's go ahead and do our first kiss. Because in order to actually woohoo in the rocket ship, we actually have to go through the proper channels. And that is first kiss and all that. So lay it on her, Roberto. Oh my gosh, he's still in his chicken costume. I mean, yes. Get it. Get it, get it, get it, get it. <laughs> oh, did that do it? Oh no, there's a monster living underneath somebody's bed. Yes, go woohoo with Olivia in the rocket ship yes okay oh she just fell and busted his booty she's actually in dire need to use the bathroom and it's oh my gosh and it's easter <gasps> okay that is really really fun oh my gosh that's that's amazing there's like tons of food in here because i actually had all of them like make food before they left so there's like tons and tons of food gosh here we go Oh my gosh, their knees are, oh, dang it. I should have put a stairs down here, but oh well. I can't believe what's happening. Hee-ho, hee-ho. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, she changed in a little outfit. And is he, 
he is going inside that rocket ship in a freaking chicken costume and she actually changed oh <laughs> that is amazing oh okay i mean i wish there was more to be seen than that but holy freaking cuteness that was really really cute now how long does it take to come back uh, apparently a little bit longer than what i thought okay so space woohoo must take a very long time oh there it is there it is okay okay well there we go we did it check check and check oh yes he did it he even got the mile high club yes 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 actually can we just go ahead and just take her and do the waterfall woohoo i think that would be really really good and just a quick way to go ahead and get it done there he goes you pull him in the waterfall Yay! <laughs> I'm so happy for him. I'm pretty sure that he actually has had it in there, but you know what? I feel like it is a good thing for him. So go ahead, hurry up, finish your dues, and then let's go back home and I'll show you guys. Oh my gosh, no protection was used. Should I check to see if she's pregnant? <laughs> I mean, it would not hurt, would it? Okay, good. She is not pregnant so that is very very good she is an adult so she could have gotten pregnant actually it would have been so funny if we did get her pregnant alrighty so my game is currently paused right now because I wanted to show you the beautiful and gorgeous little girls that we got from Esmeralda so this is one of the kids I don't know which one this is to be honest but they're so freaking cute oh my gosh I love her so much her name is Mercedes ah just so so freaking adorable and I can't I can't these kids are literally the cutest little beings in the freaking world and this one is actually Raylan now this one looks so much like the one that we just seen and you're probably like wait wait this is the same one but no they're different they're so freaking cute I can't I can't stand it now where's the other one Elizabeth this is Elizabeth oh this is Elizabeth right here again. Oh my gosh, these kids are the cutest little toddlers I've ever seen in my life. So hopefully we'll be aging them up, hopefully before we actually do in the series. Their traits don't look so good, but I am gonna try my hardest to like try at least to get their skills up as much as we possibly can. Waterfall escapades. Ooh, and he's got the Mile High Club. Woohoo! My man is set for life. So we are ready to travel through the warm hoe. And hopefully that takes us to Sixum. But oh my gosh, my boy showed up in his leopard speedos. Holy crap. Okay, so I've actually never, like, really been to this planet. I'm not even going to lie. I don't know what is here or what is going on. But we can actually collect some things. And this is how we return home. Okay, that's good. That's good to know. We can actually, there's actually a bunch of, like, fun things to collect here. It's actually really, really pretty. Ooh, nice. I actually wonder if there's anything here that's only here that you can collect. I think there's actually some kind of plant that you can only get here. Ooh, what's this? View the tentacle tree or harvest it? <gasps> a flang flower. Ooh, yes. Let's harvest that. That is really pretty. I didn't even know they had this. What's this little guy? A wild quill plant. Oh my gosh. Yes, we need to do this one too. Oh, we can't harvest it. We can view it though, but we can't harvest it. That definitely stinks. That would be so cool if we could have had that one. Oh my gosh, there's so much literally up through here. I had no idea there was all this up here. Ooh, is this one we can do too? What's this one? An orb stock. Ooh, that is really pretty. So this is what it looks like when I zoom out of here. This is actually a really big world, bigger than what I thought. There is some people here, like the Calientes are here. One of our daughters is actually here, which is weird. She's not even an alien, so I don't know. Maybe she like follows or something. <laughs> but look how huge. I mean, it's definitely cool. Like, there's definitely some things that you could probably only get here like the quills and like that orby thing but i don't know i wish there was something else like kind of like i wish it was like a sci-fi house or something or i don't even know just something 
I don't know, just different about it. That would have been really, really cool. I mean, that was fun and all, but I I wish there was more here. I really, really do. I mean, it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Like, I think it's fun. And oh my gosh, why are you already back? Like, <laughs> go home. He's like, this place is awesome. I never want to leave. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I can't believe we actually did it. We did the rocket woohoos. We did everything. So now I'm actually just going to go ahead and sell it. Because then I'm actually going to go ahead and purchase the vault. Ooh, so pretty. Maybe this one. <gasps> yes. I'm just going to stick it outside here. You know, Roberto has no shame in his game. He's just like, here, here here's my vault, guys. Here's my vault. We're going to actually go ahead and add money into that vault. Let's add... Ooh, how much money should we add? Maybe like that much? I think that's pretty good. Yes, go ahead. Oh my gosh, we've already like went through like almost a day's worth and this is literally all we've gotten into. We do need to actually go and visit the hermit before school starts tomorrow because the other guys are actually gonna be going into school. He is hungry and stuff. So maybe we can actually have a nice little grand meal. We'll get Roberto to come over here and fix them a nice little grand meal of probably some turkey dinner. And that can be like their nice little day that they spend together. They do want to hunt eggs and the Easter Bunny, which I don't know if we've missed that. But I'll have them like hunt for some eggs. I think that would be like really kind of cute if they all like did that at least that much so unfortunately it is 2 20 in the morning on monday so that is a huge huge bummer because now it is officially two days until roberto hits the freaking floor and yeah uh, there's a bunch of things that we need to do so since we actually have the nice vault ready for him to go ahead and do his woohoos let's go ahead and see who else we can summon definitely somebody new so let's see here oh i don't know who this is but angel harrison does not look like one of our kids i don't know if this is one of story girls but let's find out i mean she is well too put together to be any of these ones that are generated by the game so she definitely looks like one of the girls that story girl has made for me but i'm not for sure i'm 100 so you'll definitely have to let me know if this one is but roberto is getting ready to actually greet her with his lovely paddles where he's gonna make her fall in love and then have their first kiss and go ahead and get this shebang started Look at him running. Oh my gosh. He was running to that vault. He was like, yes, I really want to finish all my requests before I pass away. <laughs> okay, that was too funny. I can't wait to actually see the leaves one. I don't think I've ever seen the leaves one, but this one, oh, make it rain. Okay, that was pretty short-lived compared to the rocket ship, but um, still pretty funny. Still enjoy it. I definitely do like that one, too. Just want to make sure she is not pregnant. Whew. Okay, she's not. Thank goodness. I think 108 babies is pretty darn sophisticated enough for him. So, woohoo. So, let's see. Money vault, check. Rocket ship, check. Ooh, Brillington Bay Lighthouse. I gotta do that one. Maybe we can actually just go ahead and do that one with her since she's already here. Woohoo bush, check. Coffin, not checked. <laughs> and then the sleeping pod, not checked. So there's two. The pile of leaves, ah, oh, there's three. Closet, check. The backyard observatory. So that is a five now that we actually have to do. So since she's here, We've already woohooed with her once. Let's go ahead and get the observatory. Oh my gosh, our yard is literally going to be the most craziest yard in the planet. But I don't mind it at all. So we're just going to put this little guy right here. Oh my gosh, yes. And she's already here, so it's going to be perfect. Oh my gosh, can we not? Oh, there it is. Woohoo with Angel. Yep, there we go. Boom. And there we go observatory check now we are down to four 
Holy crap, we're doing it. We are completing it left and right. This is awesome. What are you going to do? Another woohoo session. Uh, I think you're good, Roberto. We don't want you to pass away too soon, okay? So it looks like everybody is tired and exhausted. Oh my gosh, my poor little beans. I totally forgot today is actually for them to go to school. But as for the toddlers, they're playing some shim shape, making funny faces, and doing all their skills. So that is really, really good. They're thinking, they're thinking. Oh, they're doing their thinking skill, which is phenomenal. What are you doing? Playing sim shape as well. Ooh, wait, what? Oh, he reached level two. I definitely feel like Roberto would be higher than that, but it's okay. Burnelton Bay Lighthouse. Woohoo's checked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, look at the look at the lights like. <laughs> Okay, this is really cute. I don't think I've ever like actually been here to the, the lighthouse and have done this. If not, it's been like a really, really long time, but this is actually kind of cute. So the only ones that we have left is the coffin, the sleep pod, and the tent. Whew, that's not actually too bad. Oh my goodness. <gasps> well, see, we are sending Roberto off in the right direction. We are now good friends with him, with Angel. That is perfect. I mean, I, yes. Oh my gosh. Why is he dreaming about an alien? Is she an alien? Oh, I don't know. Alrighty. We are back now in the house after Roberto has finished off his latest adventures. Not doing too bad. We're actually doing pretty darn good with everything. And it is about school day. Actually, it is school day. So hopefully, yes, these guys are going to be heading off to schools. So have a fabulous day. And oh my gosh, you're stinky and everything, but still have a good day. That's a lot of money. I don't feel like it should be that much. I definitely feel like Roberto would be like, nah, I ain't paying that because I'm literally about to pass away. And I'm sure my kids will probably sell the house and get the money and like move off anyways. So I definitely don't see him like doing that at all. <laughs> We're just not going to do it. So I definitely don't think Roberto thought his final days would be spent potty training three little toddler girls, but he definitely is. <laughs> All of them are potty training right now, so hopefully we can get that at least knocked out of the way. There's still a bunch of skills left to do, so I don't think that they're actually going to be able to do that because there's, there's a bunch and I kind of have been neglecting them. Skill-wise, at least I've been taking care of them, okay? They haven't been taken away, but their skills I have been neglecti neglecting very, very much. So, <laughs> I mean, look at this. There's not even... Okay, her communication is at least a level four, so that's not too bad. But then these other ladies, they don't have much at all, so... Oh my gosh. So all the kids actually turned home today, and I think literally every one of them has an A, which I did think was actually going to happen. So that is freaking crazy. Oh my gosh, we'll be able to kick out Meredith and Rain in this one episode. And then we can actually age up Madison and Jackson. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This is like kind of like what I wanted, but not really. Because I was like, oh, I really wanted to save them and have them like go on the adventure with us. But I do feel like that it is time for them to go ahead and meet the world and just kind of do their own thing. So we're just going to go ahead and make a beautiful cake for everybody. All right. So happy birthday, Meredith. Oh my gosh. She already like aged up with a rising star. What is that disgusting smell? What is that disgusting smell? Well, it is the house. It's the house that stinks so bad. Oh my gosh. I can't believe she's aging up. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. She's a dance machine and a goofball and romantic. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Go ahead and pop some birthday candles on there before we e Oh, she was a B-lister. Dang. Okay. She did a lot better than a rising star. That is amazing. Now we got the other sister to go ahead and do. Alrighty. And now Rain is next to go ahead and age up. And let's see. I'm pretty sure they're all like ready. They're all character values. Yes. Responsibility and manners, which is phenomenal. Hers was manners and responsible. So we're doing really, really good for that. Now age up oh my gosh yes oh she's athletic perfectionist and a green feed hmm why is it so dirty <laughs> because we got three toddlers oh and madison is ready to age up she's a goofball and adventurous okay that's pretty cute we'll do her like athletic 
That seems pretty darn fair to me. Oh, she looks like she's aged up pretty darn sticky cute. Ooh, she's got like this nice, oh my gosh, she looks like her mom. I can already tell just so freaking much. We're going to go ahead and add on some birthday candles. Let me just go make sure I put like everybody is doing it so that no one steals our beautiful stuff. Alrighty, and now Jackson is left, and let's just see. I don't think it even matters, but his manners and responsibility is perfect for him. It only matters for when they're a teen, but holy crap, everybody's doing really, really good. Happy birthday, Mr. Jackson. Oh my gosh, this is the last birthday in the house. Guarantee it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. This is actually kind of sad. The last birthday in the house. The last child to age up. <gasps> He's an art lover and a freaking. I mean, hey, at least maybe we might actually be able to use him <laughs> and see if he can do some nice like dumpster dives for us and give us a little bit more money because definitely that's what Roberto would totally do. And oh my gosh, you aged up with this beautiful, oh my gosh, okay, so both of them aged up like this white hair. So I definitely feel like that is what we need to do for both of them. And oh my gosh, the amount of gifts we are getting is just insane. But I, think, but I do think I'm going to wrap it up right here because I definitely want to get your all's opinion. Now, normally these guys actually do have black hair, but they both aged up with this pretty white hair. I do think their mom had like a really pretty color, or I think, I can't remember. But I definitely want to like get your all's opinion. Should I keep her with black hair or should we go with a little bit of white hair? So definitely let me know what you guys think. And next episode in our series finale will be Roberto going to the Hobbit house and possibly doing some tent woohoo. Maybe we'll try to sneak in the pod or something to see if we can go ahead and do that as well. And probably the coffin. Just go ahead and knock it all out in one episode. And obviously it will be his last day. So three woohoo sessions with one hermit it's probably a beautiful way to go out if I do say so myself I think that's a brilliant idea maybe he can try for a baby even to see if maybe he can leave one more baby in this household to see to see if to see if he can't leave one more child in this world before he leaves the world but I will see you guys in my next video and I love you guys so much let me know what you guys think about it definitely let me know if you have any suggestions or anything you want me to do I can't believe we're almost, a but I do love you guys so freaking much, and don't forget, if you are new to the channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button, because it does help our little village to grow, and make sure you give this video a big sweet thumbs up, and make sure you're leaving me comments down below, because remember, that is where you do shine, and you can go follow me on all of my socials, which is over here, so definitely go check me out, and make sure you follow them, make sure you join a Discord, because we have a lot of fun, so much fun in there, a lot of memes, a lot of fun, a lot of character, but I will see you guys real soon. And I love you guys so much, and I'll see you. But I love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye.